Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Today I am starting my Hardcore Iron Man series. Uh, I just made this account. My username is uh, Piers Moore, in case anybody wants to follow my progression. Uh, all one stats except for Constitution, or better known as Hit Points, of course. And the goal of this series is um, gonna kind of be not so much... Uh, skills oriented although while i am going to be very focused on getting my skills up to quest and um whatnot i kind of want to be more of a uh, collector i really like collecting items from monsters and skilling and whatnot so i think as a goal to reach just like kind of uh over the next year i'm gonna be reaching max cape but also I am going to be trying to get uh, all of the uh, unique drops from all of the boss monsters, which are uh, listed in the boss tab, which I believe is... Let me find it. Where is it? Am I just an idiot? Um, well, this is awkward. Where are the bosses at? There they are. Ha. Um, so basically trying to collect all the unique drops from all of the bosses listed here, which is going to be a little hard on my Hardcore Iron Man. I'm going to try to do it as a Hardcore Iron Man, but if I do lose the status, I will continue on the series as a normal Iron Man. Of course, I, it would be a little bit more prestigious to do it as a Hardcore Iron Man. So, as of right now, I don't have a set path laid out exactly. Um, I have, like some major goals to strive for before I really start bossing. Um, I want to get the Jar of Divine Light, so that's 100k that I need, and I it's just so my account isn't deleted if I die. Um, at 1,000 total level, I want to buy the Divine Coin for 100,000, and at 1,600 total level, I want to buy the second Divine Coin for 10 million coins. So those are very important goals. I also want to try to get my Divination level up so that I can make the, where is it? I just went past it. The Sign of Life, so I need 78 Divination for that. And then, as well as that, I kind of have, like, a little spreadsheet. I will post a link in the description. It's actually not my spreadsheet. I found it on the forums. Um, or not on the forums, actually. I'm sorry, on Reddit. So, um... It's just like a list of quests that I should be doing. So I believe to start, I need to do path. So I'm going to go ahead and do the entire path uh, quest series. And then we will continue on from there. I believe we're going to be unlocking the arc, which I haven't even done on my main yet. So this is going to be quite interesting. But I'll be back with you guys once we get uh, the path done. All right, guys, just finished up the path. Got myself the path finding gear. Some weapons, a uh, nice ring and amulet for now. And right now I am about to do, I can't think of the name, I'm pressing the locals to unlock the arc. And then we are going to uh, be working on some other quests such as recruitment drive, waterfall, druidic ritual, um, missing presumed death. Um, just a couple starting quests just to get our combat stats and some... Um, Skilling quests up, I could not think of that. Uh, so I'll be back with you guys with an update soon. Alright guys, just finished impressing the locals, a little mini quest, which uh, didn't take me more than five minutes, I'd say. Uh, I also unlocked on the way the Draenor and Port Serum lodestones, and now we get to go to the Ark. I'm not actually sure what there is to do at the Ark for me at this point, uh, but it was just nice to get out of the way, so let's go ahead and travel to the Ark. Uh, let's see what it looks like here. All right. Like I said, this is my first time going to the Ark. Well, that looks pretty good, actually. Usually I hate the uh, cutscenes. I think they look horrible. But I gotta say, it looks pretty good, Jagex. Good job. That boat reminds me of like a really old game, like Flash game I used to play. I can't think of the name of it, but... Wayward or something like that? Oh, wow. This looks pretty awesome, actually. 
All right, well, I think just because I unlocked this, I'm going to derp around for a little bit, and uh, then I will continue on my questing grind. All right, guys, just finishing up waterfall quest here. And there we go, got a bunch of experience. Some diamonds, gold bars, mithril seeds, and whatnot, but that gives us 30 attack and strength, which uh, just pretty nice to have some higher combat. It unlocks us a lot of abilities and weapons and some quests and stuff. So I started the Trinon Village. I don't know if I'm going to do that quest next or if I'm going to work on another one, but I'll get back to you guys once I'm done with another quest. Finishing up Plague City. There we go, got a bunch of mining experience. Got me to 15 mining. Very nice, didn't have to do any mining really except for what was in the path. So I believe that the next quest is going to be either Dreadic Ritual or Recruitment Drive. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm done with all those. All right, Dreadic Ritual quest is done. We got some Herbalor Supplies, XP, and four quest points. So we got three Herbalor off of that, and now we're going to go ahead and do another quest. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. All right, just finishing up Recruitment Drive. Got a thousand Prayer Herbalor and Agility XP, and we unlocked Initiate, which is pretty cool. So got... 9 Agility, 10 Herblor, and 10 Prayer off that. So I'm going to go ahead and do another quest. I'll be back to you guys in a second. Just did the uh, Vrock Museum little mini thing here. And there we go. 1,000 Slayer and Hunter Experience gets me to level 9 in each. And now we can go ahead and do uh, Missing Presumed Death. So I'll be back to you guys once I finish that quest. Alright guys, just finished up Missing Presumed Death here. I believe this is the end. It's kind of a longer quest, but it wasn't too horrible, I suppose. Lots and lots of lore in it, but I've already done this quest before, so I didn't really care too much about the lore. I was just trying to get it done pretty quickly. So there we go. Two quest points, 1,500 experience, 1,000 agility, 500 prayer. We got cosmetics, and we can go back to the citadel and uh receive extra rewards when i'm a higher level so yeah i don't know what the next quest is going to be but i'll back to you guys once we finish it all right guys should be finished up swept away here just gotta talk to maggie and this should be it just gotta stir this goulash with this broom which is pretty weird but okay Oh, do I have to talk to her again? Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Two quest points, and we can uh, use up our goulash for some herbalor experience. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Should be getting some good levels. I actually really don't care for goulash that often, to be completely honest. But there's 13 Herblore. I also use the uh, rewards from Druidic Ritual to get myself from 10 to 12 Herblore. Just so I'd be getting a little bit more experience from this because it is based on your level. I think it's 10 times your current level is how much experience drops you get. So there is 14 Herblore. There's 15 Herblore. I honestly wasn't keeping track on how many of these we used, but <laughs> that's okay. There's 16 Herblore. And is that enough for 17? It is not, and we're all out, but that's okay. So 37 experience off of 17, and I believe, let's see what the next quest is going to be. We're going to do the mini quest, which is potion, and then I think we are going to do, did I already do Plague City? I did already do Plague City. 
So after we do the Witch's Potion, we will do the Observatory quest. So I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Alright guys, just finishing up Witch's Potion. Mini quest. Is that it? Did I finish it? Oh. I suppose that's it. It doesn't actually give you any quest points. Okay, cool. Well, that's done. We got 21 magic. And now we have to go ahead and do the observatory quest. So I'll be back with you guys once that's completed. Oh, hey, wasn't really paying attention to when that quest ended. But uh, yeah, just finished the observatory quest. Got some constitution XP because we got Leo for our constellation. And also some crafting experience. So that's pretty cool along with two quest points. Hit up 20 quest points just now, and 258 total level just from questing, basically, which is pretty good. The next quest we are going to be doing, I believe, is Monk's Friend. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quest. I believe it's the first time doing that quest, and I'll be back with you guys once it's done. Well, uh, that was probably the quickest quest I've ever done. It took me all of about a minute to do, and we got uh, 8 law runes and 2,000 woodkin experience from that along with one quest point, so we got 10 wood cane levels off of that, very good. And now the next quest to do is going to be Clockwork Tower. Oh, I remember doing this quest, I really didn't enjoy it. <laughs> so I'll be back once I finish that. Okay, that was weird, my recorder wasn't working. I went ahead and finished up um, the fishing contest quest to get myself some fishing experience. And that got me to 20 fishing which allows me to catch trout um i also got one of the requirements for slug menace which was 30 fire making out of the way um i'm going to catch some trout and work my way up to 30 cooking so i can do the uh, taibawani um quest the taibawani trio um, I'm just doing some quests that are going to give me fishing experience. Um, going off of my spreadsheet a little bit in quest order just because I feel like getting my fishing up is going to be important as I'm a hardcore Iron Man, so I'm going to need food. And I can't just, you know, go to the Grand Exchange and buy it and whatnot. So uh, up next, I'm either going to be doing uh, From Nick Trials, the Sea Slug quest or uh, Taiwani Trio based on, you know, what uh, what I do next. Uh, it's currently actually 3 a.m., and it's like a blizzard outside. It's like close to 18 inches outside of my house, which is really weird considering I live in the desert. Um, so I'm just probably actually going to head to bed. But for the next three or four quests, probably like Jungle Potion, Taiwani Trio, Sea Slug, from Nick Isles, and if that gets me to 36 fishing, I can also do, um, what was that quest called? It is, um, Land of the Goblins, I believe, or Five of the Prayer of Crescents, I don't really know, um, but that'll give me another 3,000 fishing experience. Also, I've been working on fish flingers, just kind of randomly, uh, just because it's going to kind of be a grind in the future. It doesn't really give me very much experience as of right now. But um, I am trying to get my points to get my full uh, outfit so we can just look at how many tokens I have right now. I have 53, so that is 285, 60. So I am like 10% of the way there. <laughs> I'm just going to do a little bit every day and try to unlock it just so I don't, like, kill myself doing it. Um, and after that, I probably won't do fish flingers at all, just because, well, maybe for the tackle box. But honestly, you know, you can get the experience, and that's nice, but I need the cooking experience too, so I just really need whatever I fish, you know what I mean? So the skip's gone on way too long. I'll be back with you guys uh, tomorrow with the next clip. So it's my second day on this account. Uh, it's currently 4 p.m. I kind of just woke up about an hour ago. Um, yeah, and it snowed quite quite a bit overnight. I'm looking at almost two feet of snow now. Um, I had a daily challenge of agility at the Norm Stronghold, so I went ahead and did that. And I got five levels in total. I went from 13 to 18. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, didn't really unlock anything too special as of yet, but we will be doing our all of the quests for fishing next. Also, I believe I'm going to be doing the <clears throat> the knight sword uh, for some smithing XP and dig site quest for some mining XP. And I think I'm going to do Taiwani Trio last of all my fishing quests. Quest? Oh my gosh, my voice cracked. Because I think the higher your fishing level, the better. So I think it's going to be the last one I do. Um, and I still have to do Sea Slug Menace and a couple other ones that give fishing XP. But before I do all that, I need to get 30 cooking. So I'm going to work on 30 cooking. Um, and... Yeah, once I get that, I'll do some quests. So I'll be back with you guys once I complete the next quest. So I was actually looking at another quest. Um, it's called Beneath Cursed Tides. I actually don't know if I've ever done this quest before. Um, it takes place in the sixth age, so it's a newer quest. Um, the requirements are 30 attack and strength, which I have. It also requires 30 magic, which I don't have, but I could get that pretty easily. It requires 30 mining, which if I did the dig site, I believe that would put me over. Um, it requires 30 smithing, which if I did the dig side, I think it'd put me at 20, or not the dig side, I'm sorry, the knight sword, that would put me at 29, so I'd be very close. Um, 30 wood cutting, which I'm very close to, I need 30 fire making, which I just got, and 30 cooking, which I'm working towards anyways. So I think that I might actually do, um, <clears throat> so quest order would be like, sea slug menace, and then I would do, uh, sorry, I'm just looking at all the quests I'm doing, sea slug menace, the Fremenic Trials quest, um, and then also, well, I don't know actually if I'm going to do Fremenic Trials. I'll think about that one. Um, so, Sea Slug Menace, Taiwani Trio, The Dig Site, Night Sword, and then Beneath Cursed Tides. That would give me lots of fishing experience uh, along with Let's see what else I get. I would unlock the giant oyster. I would get cooking experience. I would get a 10,000 XP combat lamp from Beneath Cursed Tides, which I could use on Herblore, which would be nice. And let's see what else we get. So from Sea Slug, we... I believe Sea Slug's one of the requirements for a quest to do... Uh, to unlock proselyte, so that's pretty cool. And Taiwan and Trio, I believe we just unlock Karan, Karamwan, whatever. Karamwan's freaking Davidas's favorite food. Um, is there anything else we unlock from all that? I don't think so. But um, obviously we'll be getting thirty plus mining and smithing from that as well. So that's a good, like goal I guess um I feel like I'm just rambling on so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start doing some of these quests uh, and then I will be back with you guys once we're done with uh those three or four quests all right guys just coming in here with 30 cooking I was really hoping I wouldn't burn that um so now I have all of my quest requirements um gonna start off doing sea slug menace then the jungle potion and taiwani trio quest um also then obviously the knight sword and dig site followed by that uh one quest i can't think of uh, beneath cursed tides and after that i'm gonna work on family quest crest the, <laughs> i said that backwards family crest quest um because i'm not gonna do any more cooking until i get the cooking gauntlets because yeah it's actually pretty annoying to uh to try to uh cook with this low level because you burn everything uh, and I don't want to waste my food. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing those quests. I'll be back you guys once we get some of them done. All right, guys, just finished up Sea Slug. It took about five to ten minutes. Very quick quest. And that put us to 35 fishing from 31, which unlocks us tuna. Um, next, I'm going to do Jungle Potion, and then we'll do Taiwani Trio. So I'll be back with you guys then. There's Jungle Potion complete. I think uh, after I do all these fishing, uh, mining, smithing quests and whatnot, um, I am going to be doing some of the quests that give me herbal experience uh, 
just to get it up there before I do combat. That way I have access to prayer potions if I actually need them. Uh, so next is Taiwani Trio. So I'll be back once that's done. So I wasn't really paying attention to the um, requirements for Taiwani Trio. I have all the skill requirements, but I need to get an agility potion, which I don't have. Uh, which requires 34 Herblord to make. Uh, or I could try to get it from a skeleton, but uh, yeah, don't really feel like doing that. So what I'm going to do is get all my requirements done for Beneath Cursed Tides. Uh, and that'll get me 10,000 Herblord experience, which will put me pretty close to 34. And then I can do another quest that will uh, put me over 34. And then I'll be able to do uh, Taibawani Trio quest. Um, so yep, just got 30 magic here really quick uh, trolls um also i'm going to get a battle staff and i've already done the stronghold security for 10k but i need to do the cockroach place for another 10k um because i'm also going to be getting myself a mithril two-hander which is level 30 um just for now uh i know in the future i'll be doing quests that will give me better weapons and whatnot and levels but just for now uh, it's a small investment, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back to you guys once we get some quests done. Wow, it has been a while since I've been here, and it really brings back lots of memories. So, there we go, got 10k coins, got some lamps, which I'm going to use on Herblore, I suppose. Is there anything else that's like 1k XP useful on? Maybe agility, but... Nah... Probably just can use them on Herblor. Farming would probably be good, but oh well. 1k Herblor XP gets me to 21. And then, of course, the 10k coins. And we got some uh, cool little safety gloves, which are actually worse than the current gloves we already have, so that's cool. Uh, I love, like, outdated content, but it is pretty cool here, I will be honest. It looks... Like, it's been graphically updated, I can tell, but... I don't know, it just looks so cool and nostalgic. I miss <laughs> training here as like a noob, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some quests and I'll be back to you guys once I do that. I kind of forgot I needed to get iron bars from this place for uh, the knight's sword quest because I am not uh, 15 smithing, obviously. Um, so I kind of shot myself in the foot by training magic uh, trolls because I could have trained it here, but that's okay. I've got my first bar. It took forever to get, even though it's an uncommon drop. I remember the first time I made an Iron Man account, which I ended up training into my main. Um, it took me for freaking ever to actually finally get the second iron bar. So yeah, it already took me a long time to get the first one, but hopefully... I can get it pretty soon here, and we can do the Night Sword, so I'll be back uh, once we finish that quest, I suppose. I think that I end every clip saying, we'll be back once I finish the next quest, and then half the time I'm not even doing a quest the, the next clip. <laughs> Alright guys, just finished up the Knight's Sword here. Just handing over the sword, and 12 point, well, 12,725 smithing experience in one quest point. Got us all the way up to 29 smithing, which is pretty awesome. Didn't even have to do anything at all. Um, I'm going to have to get one more smithing level to unlock the uh, Beneath Cursed Tides quest, but that's okay. I believe next is going to be doing the dig site to uh, get my mining level up past 30. Let's see here, dig site. I do need to get 25 thieving though, so I'm probably going to do a quest for that. I'll be back to you guys once I figure out what quest I'm going to do to get 25 thieving. Alright guys, I just did my first uh, big chin D&D, and we went from 9 to 16 hunter. I'm going to have to be doing this quite a while to get my hunter up, but that's okay. Um, we got almost 2,000 experience. I did use my rewards just straight on experience. Um, once I hit 26, I will be unlocking the next butterfly here, so I'll be getting more experience. And then I think it's every 13 levels, so yeah. Um, I feel like I could have gotten more XP, but I kept getting fucking black and gray and purple spawns. I'm like, what is this shit? <laughs> I can't use those. Um, so anyways... Um, I'm just training thieving actually to 25, not questing, because there's not really any good quest for it. So, 
I will be back once I hit, uh, when I get the dig site quest done, I believe. Alright guys, we are just about to finish the dig site quest here. I actually like the context, like, behind all of the quest, um, like the lore and stuff. I'm really quite a fan of Zeros, so I think it's one of my favorite quests. Why am I doing this wrong? There you go. Um, I like Zeros and Slisky are probably two of my favorite gods or whatever. But anyway, so 15.3k uh, mining, 2k herblore, some gold bars, and once we have uh, higher levels, we can get back here for some new abilities. So that got us to 24 herblore and also to 32 mining. So now I believe we're very close to being able to do a Beneath Cursed Tide. So let's just see here. That's challenges, Andrew. Uh, doo -doo. Here we go. So we just need to get three woodcutting levels and one smithing level. So I'm going to do artisans to get uh, smithing level. And then I'm just going to do some oaks to get 30 woodcutting real quick. Then we can do this quest. I apologize if I sound weird. I don't really know what happened, to be honest. I <clears throat> was eating some nachos. And all of a sudden, my voice started hurting really bad. Or not my voice. <laughs> my throat rather uh, whenever I talked so uh, I kind of have to talk like this so it doesn't hurt so yeah fat life um I'm gonna go ahead and get those uh, requirements real quick and I'll be back with you guys once I am all done so uh well I said a major brain fart for whatever reason I was um just watching a quest a good video and he was talking about pets and for whatever reason I thought he's got a smithing pet just because the way he worded what he was saying anyways so um realized for artisans you do need 30 smithing so uh, <laughs> i just went to a uh, regular anvil to finish off uh, 30 smithing it wasn't too horrible i also got 33 almost 34 mining along the way um so now we just need to get uh, 30 wood cutting and then we can do beneath cursed tides finally so yeah i hate smelting iron because i just feel like I never hit the 50% threshold. Like, I did three inventories of iron just to get enough fucking 420. Nice, Jags. Um, just to get enough iron ore to make 29 freaking iron bars. Actually, I'm going to keep this one for a quest. Um, I probably should have kept more for quest, but whatever. I need that for construction anyways. So, that is one of the requirements for... Oh, one small fla flavor. Oh, my gosh. I cannot talk tonight. Um, Elemental Workshop 2 and Beneath Cursed Tides. So, yeah. Do we have anything with this? No, we don't. I'm going to have to buy a pickaxe soon because I don't like using my steel one. But I'm going to go ahead and just cut this oak tree right here and get 30 wood cutting. All right, guys. About to get 30 wood cutting here. As soon as I get it. There we go. 30 wood cutting. We now have all the requirements for Beneath Cursed Tides. So I believe this is going to be my first time doing this quest. Um, pretty sure. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do this quest real quick. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And I'll be back with you guys once I am finished with it. All right, guys, just finished Beneath Cursed Tides. So that's actually uh, pretty cool here. We're getting a bunch of herbal experience. Puts us to 32 along with the fishing lamp and a cooking lamp which gives us a plenty of xp as well so nothing new from fishing and i uh, cancel out the cooking one but whatever and we unlocked some new herbs and stuff so that's pretty cool i'm going to go ahead and do the um D, &D real quick and see what we get from the oyster okay so it looks like uh you do farming and fishing and then you feed it to the oyster and then in a month you can come back so uh we'll do that i didn't get much farming experience because my farm level was so low but that's okay next month i'm sure we'll be getting a lot more so up next on the quest list i'm not really sure what i was planning on doing next but i will figure something out and i'll be back with you guys once i do something i suppose oh, i think i was going to work on the requirements for um the family crest quest i always say that wrong but um, let us see what requirements there are for that. Family Crest Quest. So we need 40 mining, 40 smithing, 40 crafting, and 59 magic. 
Okay, so it's going to be a while before we get there, but um, I do want to get there before <laughs> I really work on cooking too much. I'll probably get like 40 cooking maybe on trout and salmon, and then uh, that way I can fish lobsters to 62. Um, I guess that'll give me something to do, um, and the trout and salmon will probably get me enough food to get up to uh, 60. I'm just going to get to 60 magic, so... I will be back with you guys once I have reached some of my goals, I suppose. Okay guys, so I did some engineering to unlock the resource dungeon in Faldor Mines. And I also had a daily challenge for it, so uh, that put us to 17. And then we should be able to actually go to the resource dungeons and open up for some more XP. So I'm going to go do that. Um, we also got quite a few levels just from engineering, some combat. Um, I got my fletching up to 16, um, I got my crafting up like a level or two or something, um, and I don't even know what else I trained, but, um, I'm gonna be hitting 70 fletching doing dungeoneering, and then after that I'll probably just do crafting and dungeoneering. Um, it's gonna be quite a long grind, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not earlier, but I did make an Iron Man account like a year or two ago, um, I ended up just converting it to a main account, but... I did do like 1 to 88 or like 87 Dungeoneering solo, <laughs> uh, and I really am not looking forward to doing it again, but um, also, a quick note, it took me from 1 to 78 Dungeoneering to get a Frost Dragon and an Altar Spawn <laughs> in the same dungeon, um, so yeah, that, that kind of really sucked uh, for getting my, um, you know, requirements for uh damon hind tasks so let's just go ahead and quickly go here and got another level actually got two levels off that to 17 and then i'm sure i'll get a level at dwarven but i'll be back uh, once i get there because i won't make you guys sit through it all right here we go go into this mysterious entrance and we should be getting there we go, 22 Dungeoneering off of that. And we actually unlocked the Edgeville Dungeon. Um, I will go do that later. Uh, Charming Imp, uh, yeah, I wish I had that many tokens. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the first item we go for is a Charming Imp. Probably a Charming Imp, Bone Crusher, and one of the Demon Horde necklaces just for like infinite prayer and charms and stuff. And then after that, we will be working towards a Chaotic Staff probably. Because we can either get the Crystal Halber attuned or the um, Crystal Bow attuned in the future. So that is that. I'm just going to be working on requirements for Family Crest and probably doing other quests and stuff. So I'm not really sure what I will do next, but I'll be back to you guys in a second. When you record an entire skit mocking Dovidas and... It just magically never appears in your recording folder. <laughs> I'm tired anyways. It probably wasn't funny. Rip. So I feel like I'm about to do something really stupid, but... um, Oh, you know what? I actually got to do main quest anyways, but... I'm going to do the uh, mini quest here for the abyss, and then I go to the abyss because I need to get a uh, earth talisman or a uh, elemental talisman kind of thing, majigger from this. So yeah, I'm going to quickly uh, do that, and uh, hopefully I don't die because yeah, fuck that shit. Alright, uh, mini quest time. So um, apparently I had to do rune mysteries to do the uh, quest, so uh, that, that, that kind of sucks, but... Uh, do get rune crafting and magic experience out of that, so I guess that's cool. Um, gonna do uh, the abyss mini quest now, <laughs> fucking finally. Um, and then following that, we can uh, get an earth talisman to finish up these rock tasks. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, I still need some more kudos, but yeah, <laughs> kill myself. Just was finishing up the uh, abyss mini quest, and it got me to 14 rune crafting, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> still super sketched out, but going in the wildy. Oh my gosh. Hopefully I won't have to do this very often. But we should be able to... Where are all the skeletons? Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me, dude. Holy shit, level 123. Okay. 
cool. Uh, well, hopefully we don't die here trying to kill these guys. Okay, they're hitting pretty hard, actually. Hello. Um, maybe this wasn't the smartest idea. Can I even hit them? I can't even see my health. Okay. This is kind of sketchy. Well, I'll be back once I get a Earth Talisman or a Elemental Talisman or something. So I, uh, I noped out of that pretty quick. Uh, holy shit, they were like gangbanging me. So uh, note to self, don't go back to the Abyss for a while. Um, <laughs> holy shit, I almost died actually. Okay, so we are going to be doing something else instead to be getting that Earth Talisman. But we can see here we just need to get 50 kudos and get that Earth Talisman. So I'm going to figure something out. I really don't want to kill a bunch of men, but we'll see. So, I decided to go to men because I was killing awkward warriors for fucking ever and to get it. And, like, less than 10 kills, I finally fucking get it. So, that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do this task real quick and then figure out exactly how I'm gonna get the rest of my kudos. Alright, guys, so I went and did the earth talisman thing and then I just uh, cleaned some uh, rocks <laughs> to get my kudos up and. This should be, I believe, the end of the easy tasks. There we go. So, if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, I believe the rock castle is where the tasks are. I could be completely wrong. I believe it's in the library. But uh, anyways, I was just doing this for the rock armor. Um, I might do this with a couple other Sets I uh, might do in the future, not really sure, but I believe we talked to this guy about the task system. And then... Is he... Is this the guy that gives me the reward? How do I claim these rewards? Oh, right. Virgus south of... Okay, never mind. Ha. Huh. I am super smart. I knew I was wrong. Also, my phone just went off. I apologize for that. I am super out of it right now, dude. Had, like, a couple beers earlier. <laughs> ah, because it's, like, so much snow outside. I just wanted to feel warm. Uh, south of Barak. How far south? Is that the guy that's over here? I'm going to feel like I need This is the longest clip ever. I'm going to figure out where I need to go. I'll be back to you guys in a sec. I found him. <laughs> okay. There we go. Got the reward. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of talking. Cool. Okay, Brock armor set one. And herbal XP. Oh, wow. Almost level. Um, Let's see what are some of the things we have locked for. So we need... 32 quest points for that. Um, I would assume that's a quest lock. That is also a quest lock. Another quest lock. Uh, that one's pretty easy to do, actually. I would need to do a quest for that. I would need 21 agility for that. You know what? I don't really need the next one for a while. <laughs> I will get the skill requirements and quest requirements for that eventually, but for now, I'm going to go back to mining or make some food or something. I don't really know. I'm drunk. <laughs> so I'm contemplating on wanting to uh, kill myself, but I have been reading about the empty throne room, which for whatever reason I thought was just a very short, like, uh, kind of like the beach event and like the Port Serum invasion where it's just like there for a month and then gone and I heard about it forever ago so I was like well sorry if I sound really rude um, I will probably never do that then um, but apparently it's kind of like a thing like the Nexus where it's just there forever with like a skill cap or like an XP cap I suppose um, so it requires 65 mining uh, to do the mining part, 65 agility, to do the agility part, which I uh, killed myself not doing that for a while. Um, 
and 65 div, which I haven't even started my caches yet, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, right. So um, to get to level 65, I would need to do 400,000 mining experience, uh, which is uh, quite a lot. Um, that would give me over 10,000 iron ore. But then, so uh, it can give me up to 800,000 experience. So if we look at 75, that is 1.1 million. Uh, so if you subtract 400,000, uh, that's like 750k there. So uh, that would get us to 75, which is a priftness requirement. So I feel like this is going to be one of my goals um, that I'm going to work towards. Uh, also getting lots of iron for smithing. Um, if we do 10,000... Yeah, it's like probably close to 12,000, plus I have 1,000. So we're just going to say 13,000 iron ore. Um, and I'll be mining that one once this guy on aggro's me. Um, that would be 13,000 times 100, which would be one point. 3 million smithing experience at artisans i believe because i think you get like 101 or either 101 or 111 experience per iron ore so that would be pretty dope actually that would definitely get me to 75 um that would probably get me to almost 76 so just mining iron to 65 and then afk and uh that last 10 levels and then afk and artisans 275 will knock off those perf requirements actually is smithing even a perf requirement i don't even know i just unlocked perf actually on my iron regular iron man account so uh let's see here which i did are um, not uh i did granite because fuck me uh to do what am i looking for plagues end uh where is p there we go um smithing isn't a requirement okay well i did not know that i feel like it's i feel like you need 75 still like i feel like it's one of the other quest requirements because i remember getting 75 or maybe it was 70 i don't really remember nor do i care that much um it'll get me close to unlocking invention as well um so yeah i'm just rambling now i'm just saying you probably might not see me a lot um while i watch videos and stuff i'll be mining iron and when i'm like super afk like eating and watching anime and whatnot i'll probably be fishing um once i hit 62 fishing and get family crest quest done i will also be needing to uh unlock swan song which is gonna be a bitch to get all the quest points but i'm just gonna do a bunch of quests that i need and like five or six filler quests they give me like four or five quest points each so that'll boost me up then i can do a bunch of combat quests which will make me feel a little bit better about you know walking around with 29 hp um i guess it's kind of the plan i don't feel like i'm gonna like really i feel like this is gonna be like a really long episode like it's gonna be like a two hour long episode and you guys are probably already like 40 minutes in or something stupid like that I haven't even looked at any of the clips. I hope they're all okay. Like, all the voices are there and whatnot. And, dude, I am so drunk right now. Um, it's hard to think. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know when the next update will be. It will either be, like, a cool milestone or with the quest or something, I suppose. I don't really know. I can kill myself. A quick little update. Uh just doing a statue because I got some more rocks but if we just check this we've uh, got about halfway <laughs> of the statue and I've got a bunch of like um, like the halves of the pair I, I don't know how to phrase that uh, in the bank um, I'm gonna be finishing up my session here pretty soon it's like two in the morning I'm tired and drunk but uh, whoa what am I doing I am going to do some mage at fung, fung, fungal ma maggie, something, something like that. Anyways, I'm going to be doing that um, if it's good, um, I guess, is the best way to put that. Um, 
if I don't hit very well, I suppose I won't be. I'm going to look up their weakness and bring that as a spell, but if not, I guess I can do Tazar, but I basically need to get 60 so I can get my next tier staff, and also 59 for my family crest, quest requirement thing. So I will be back uh, with an update with you guys, probably just at the end of my session, just trying to talk about the last three days. So yeah. So I just did my Wicked Hood for the day uh, to get some air runes for magic, and I actually got my Strange Rocks for rune crafting, which is funny because I was just talking about that. But there we go. So I went from... Uh, 14 to 17 just with uh, my daily stuff real quick there so that's pretty cool uh, i'm gonna go ahead and do those fungal maggie now all right i'm just gonna say fuck it and go to bed i'm like tired and i almost accidentally died because i managed to get like three of them on me and like two of the axes and i just went like panic mode and left uh so this is the end of day three. I know that I didn't get a lot of progress done the last two days. Um, I think I got like 350 levels the first day and then I was like, yeah, I didn't play much the next two days. But either way, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, tomorrow there is going to be another episode up with three days progress. I am just uh, going to be recording like a lot, like a lot of this is going to be pre-recorded. It's going to be pretty old by the time you see it. Uh, but I think I'm going to upload it every three days progress. I like split it up into like three days, three days, three days for you guys and like upload it maybe for like for a week. Just so you guys can like get through it and be like, all right, there's the low level shit done. It's boring. But like for people that want to know like what to do for low levels or like just ideas and stuff, it's out there for you. So um, we did some quests um these are the quests that i completed i actually completed quite a bit you can barely fit it all on there um but those are the quests that we did um we did a little bit of dunge uh trained up our magic some did some fishing and cooking uh, mining and smithing i have about fifty thousand smithing experience and iron ore still in artisans so um that's pretty good i am going to probably be working on uh, working on 65 mining along with uh, 75 smithing and also going to be doing crafting and dunge also working on dunge and completing the daemon high and task set i um, going to be doing afk fishing those are kind of like the things i'm going to really be doing over the next like while those are like my goals things i'm going for um also i suppose doing quests i'm going to try to do a couple quests every day just because you know, not necessarily because, like, oh, I need to complete this quest, but, you know, just get them out of the way so later when I'm like, all right, time to do Temple of Sen Senison or whatever it's called, I'm like, I have to do 20 quests or something like that, you know what I mean? So, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll look out tomorrow. Uh, there should be a another video up for you guys. So, I don't know how long this video is. It could have been 20 minutes long. It could have been, like, an hour long. I really don't know. We'll just have to see what gets cut out and blah, blah, blah. So, See you guys tomorrow with another video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the whole um, <coughs> episode today. I just wanted to uh, quickly say something. Uh, I'm currently on day four of my Iron Man series and I decided to not be lazy and just kind of get my shit together and I figured out a video editing software I was going to use and put together the whole video just now. I'm going to work on editing it. Um, I got some things that I need to do to it, but it is all ready to be published basically. Um, so I am changing how I'm going to be uploading these. I am going to try to be uploading them every three to four days with three days of progress. Um, that's how they're going to be split up for now. Uh, in the future, that might be changing, but I'm not just going to be pre-recording a bunch of them and then uploading them and then like being MIA and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to try to be really transparent with you guys when I'm doing things and whatnot. Uh, so probably I would say um, right now it is the fourth. Um, I started my account on New Year's. So <laughs> if that helps you guys, if anything, um, today is the video is going to be going up um, probably around midnight or a little bit before midnight pst um 
so I would rec oh, not rec <laughs> I can talk. I would probably reckon that on the seventh will be the next episode. Hopefully, again around midnight or sooner. Um, well, actually, I would really hope before midnight or sooner because I'm going to be at work at midnight on the seventh. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, if anybody uses, um, what is this program called? It's called uh, VSDC is the video editing software. It looks really cool. It's free. Um, you have to pay for like different features and stuff. For, for what I'm doing, it seems like a really good upgrade from like Windows Movie Maker. And like, I don't want to like pirate Sony Vegas. And I don't want to pay for Sony Vegas or anything like that. So um, if anyone uses that and like sees anything I'm doing wrong, or if you guys want me to change the layout of the videos or anything like that, like just leave your suggestions down in the comments. I really do appreciate um, any feedback you guys can give me. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night or wherever you may be in the world, and I will see you guys in a couple days with the next video.